Hello and welcome. This tutorial is how to make basic mead, also known as honey wine. Here is some of the equipment you will need to make your mead. The most important item is the honey. For a one gallon batch, which is what we are going to be making today, you will need three pounds, preferably local honey. You will need one gallon of spring water, You will also need some brewing sanitizer. You will need to sanitize everything that the mead comes in contact with. Any bacteria will ruin your whole batch. And lastly, some basic dry ale yeast. Here we are going to rehydrate the yeast. First you need a quarter cup of warm water, stir in some table sugar, then add in your yeast. Give it a little stir, then let sit. Now we are going to divide up the water. One quart is going to go in the carboy, two quarts is going to be used for our honey mixture, and the leftovers will be used to top off our mead. You will need to put your honey container in some warm water. It will help make it less viscous so it is easier to pour. We are going to heat up the two quarts we put aside to 115 degrees. Then we are going to take it off heat so we do not scorch our honey when we pour it in. Stir and dissolve the honey. I set aside some warm water to help get out any remnants in the honey container. Once the honey is all poured, be sure to make sure the honey is dissolved. Now we are going to pour our honey mixture into our carboy. Pour till it is three quarters of the way full. Keep your leftovers till after we put in our yeast slurry. We are going to chill our honey mixture in some ice water until it reaches 80 degrees. Any warmer and you will kill your yeast. Now we are going to pour our yeast slurry into our honey mixture. Top it off with the leftover honey we put aside earlier. Make sure to leave enough headroom though so that when the mead ferments it does not overflow. Pour in your yeast nutrient. Then apply the airlock. After the airlock is secured in place, give it a little swirl to help stir the honey mixture. Now we're going to put our mead in a cool dark place around 70 degrees and let it sit for about a month. We will come back then and add in some nutrient. Check about every week for any bacterial growth. If you see foam, it is normal. Thank you for viewing my video. I hope it was informative. If you have any questions, please leave them as a comment, and I will reply as soon as possible.